everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining us on today's muscle car, gentleman's muscle car video. You say, Tony, what's a gentleman's muscle car? I gotta wear a suit and tie in this car? Is that what I gotta do? Absolutely. And if you're feeling super gentleman, maybe a tuxedo, a blue tuxedo, huh? How hot would you be in this car wheeling around with a tuxedo and some ruffled shirt underneath circa 1960s? How you doing? All right, anyway, all kidding aside, uh, the 442 is probably, if you've never driven one or owned one, they really are probably one of the best driving, riding muscle cars ever made. I don't know how they do it or what they do. You know, they have some proprietary parts of the suspension that aren't on all the other uh, GM A-body cars. However, uh, with the torque that the engine makes and the ride, it's just like that, it, that's just, I don't know how to explain it to you. It's just like you're going down the road, you feed it some gas and it just goes, man. And it just rides and you can ride for hours. You can go to the beach, you can go to a winery, you can go all over the place. You can go to work on a Friday or whatever. It's like one of those great muscle cars that you could actually use, right? Many times people buy a high performance muscle car with multiple carburation or exotic fuel injection and they never use it, right? Why do they not use it? I don't want to get it dirty. I don't want to drive it. I'm afraid that it, uh, that I'll have to put too much gas in it. This eliminates all of that stuff. This is a beautifully restored car. And the reason why you'd want to buy it is because also too, it's investment grade. What do I mean by that? I'm going to tell you about some of those things as we walk through the rest of the video. Let's get started. All right, so, uh, so one of the things that people always ask about is paint, right? Because you can have a beautifully restored car. Engine is stunning. The underneath is like, oh my God, that's beautiful. Like my kitchen is so beautiful. But if it's in primer, it's no sale, man. It is no sale. We do not have that here. We have scarlet red paint that is mirror finish. And when I say mirror finish, I want to give you a paint lesson here in just a second, uh, just to learn a couple of things about paint when you're looking at it. And the reason we do the videos uh, and talk about paint is because pictures can make a car look like anything you want it to be. With AI, Photoshop, all these things, people are manipulating pictures all over the world. You can see they're putting people's heads on other people's bodies. The video fixes that for us, right? It shows you what we have. It shows you in the real world. We're not doing anything other than this is it. This is not augmented reality. It's a real reality, all right? So come on up. But I want to tell you this real quick before we do that. So we have the red line tires uh, and the SS1 uh, uh, rally wheels. We have the stripe here, which is very nice, right? This is a decal. You don't have to have the stripe. So if you would rather have it all solid, uh, that's not a big deal. We can do that too but I think it looks nice with the car. Your call, no big deal. Again, I'm gonna talk about a few things on the car that you can make it your own and add, subtract or whatever. Uh, and sometimes people like to do that and we do that here for you, so that's easy for us. Anyway, let's get back to the paint, scarlet red paint. So come on up here. And when I say look at the paint, I say look at, uh, don't look at the paint. What do you mean by that? I mean, look in the paint, look at what's in the paint, meaning look at the sky the sun, the lights, the letters of this page. And if you can read them nice and clear and they're crisp, crisp, then that's good paint. The fuzzier the letter is, the worse the paint is. You've heard of orange peel paint, right? Orange peel paint doesn't reflect back really well because the light gets in there and it gets trapped, right? And it doesn't come back out. It doesn't reflect as shiny. And here, that's exactly what we have. We have here, not orange peel paint, but we have really nice shiny red paint. Angie's going to come on up here. She's going to go ahead and let you guys read this window sticker. This window sticker, okay, right here, crisp, fresh, and you can see the ribs of the ceiling, the lights in the ceiling, which are brand new LED lights, I'd like to point out, because we're eco-friendly here at Fleming's Ultimate Garage, LLC. Eh? All right, anyway, beautiful, right? All right. Whew. All right, so two customers here. Two different styles of customers here. One person wants a cool car. They can take the family out, go to dinner, go with another couple at a winery and just enjoy the car once in a while. Another customer might like to do that as well as go to some car shows, cars and coffee, go to some car shows specifically for these cool cars. Well, this car does all that for you. Why? Because that's the way we designed it. If you want to open the hood, some people don't care what's under the hood. However, some people really do. So we painted this here, the engine, the correct color bronze paint, right? We have on here uh, the overflow bottle, battery topper, 
of the uh, power brake master cylinder there painted correctly the way it's supposed to be. Like some little stuff on here that you might say, wow, that's a great looking car. Oh my God, it looks so beautiful under here. But a lot of times people don't know why it's beautiful under here. It's the detail stuff. This decal, the emissions decal here, the cooling decal here, right? These are the things that make for a nicer car when you have a car like this. So uh, one other thing I wanted to point out is because a lot of times people will forget to ask and you get the car and you're like, oh, I should have asked that. Does this car have power steering? Because many muscle cars don't have power steering. And that's a lot of car to have to wheel, right? Uh, this one does have power steering and it has power disc brakes, right? Two great options on here that make for a better driving experience. Secondly, we have the matching numbers, original engine under the hood, adding value to the car. Back to my original statement of being investment grade, right? This allows us to uh, say, you know what? Investment grade is because it's a real 442 and it has a matching numbers engine and it's detailed and it's restored and, and, and at my friend is uh, the difference between some other cars and this. All right, so why do I spend a few seconds back here or a minute back here talking about the rear end of the car? Because these cars are fast and that's a lot of what other people are gonna see. But more importantly, they're styling back here, right? What makes a 442 different than say, uh, you know, a regular Cutlass or something like that? Here we have uh, the correct 442 bumper with the cutouts in there and the trumpet tips. That's your first kind of sign that we have uh, a 442 because that's a, a styling differentiator. The 68 has a great tail end. Look how thin everything looks back here. Um, and then when people are driving behind you, they get to see this cool kind of old school dash, right? With all of the uh, great updates and styling that they put in here. And then lastly, this is a functional car. You say, Tom, what's a functional car mean? Of course it functions. It drives up and down the road. No, 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 that's not what I mean. What I mean by that is you could use this car. Well, what do you mean I could use this car? I'm gonna use them to drive it to work. No, you could go away for the weekend if you wanted to. You could go to a car show a thousand miles away. It rides and drives that nice. And on top of it, this is beautifully done with the correct uh, mats in here, spare tire jack stowage and jacking instructions are all decaled in here. Why is that a big deal? Because you'd be saying, tell them, what's that, a $10 decal, a $20 decal? You're absolutely right. It's not an expensive decal, but it's a detail thing that so many people don't do. They don't do these things, right? They don't go through the final efforts of doing all of these little things because many times, many times people will say, wow, that's such a good looking car, oh my God, but they don't know why it's a good looking car. These kinds of things, if you went to a car show, wanted to open the trunk, open the hood, People are coming and going, wow, that is a beautiful car. And now you know why. All right, so you're walking up to your cool car. It's Friday. You're like, wow, I love this car, right? And you come up and you're like, this just looks like a muscle car. Like today's modern car couldn't pull off red lines and the stripe and the scoops and the exhaust and whatever. Then throw in the fact that this is a convertible, right? You can put the top up, put the windows up, turn the heat on in December and still enjoy this car, right? It's dual purpose. You can drive it all year long. You don't have to drive it in the salt, but you could drive it all year long when it's 40, 30, 20 degrees because it has the heat. It has all of the good stuff that you want. Anyway, where you're gonna spend your time is in here. And let's take a check that out for a minute because I want to talk about what makes these cars uh, just nicer, right? And so in here, you get buckets and a console. You get a really nice door panel with uh, chrome trim and this nice base. And, and this is a luxury car, right? This is uh, right below the Cadillac, right? This is, this is uh, the Buick, Cadillac, Oldsmobile, kind of all sharing that, Cadillac being the top. And uh, then you throw in the fact that this just makes a lot of power and it just goes down the road and it sounds great. Couple small things you can do if you wanted to make some changes. You may or may not like the wood wheel. They make a cool stainless and black wheel. That's an original kind of muscle car wheel. You may like that better. Easy change for us, we can do that for you. Maybe you wanna hide a digital sound system. We can hide that in the glove box for you too. You can stream your music, Bluetooth, cell phone, nav, all that stuff hidden inside there, but keeping this cool dash, right? All kind of old school. Another part of this right here is the simple fact that there is a lot of room in here. This lighting is working the way it's supposed to, right? These are little detail things that most people don't finish when they finish a car. And getting in here and being able to go to dinner and a winery and all that good stuff is really, really nice. You can take another couple out, take the kids somewhere. Dinner tastes better in a car like this than it does in your SUV. And not that your SUV is not a great car because it is, but this is just different. All right, so we close up this video. I'm smiling because I think about this and it's one of the things that makes for a great car. 
When you get a car like this, it's a muscle car, right? And it's a 442 and it's matching numbers and it's a convertible, right? And it's restored and it's great color combination and it's great driving and it has great power and, 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 and. There really is nothing left for you to do other than say, you know what? I've been looking long enough. And the last thing I'm gonna to say to you, it may feel a little morbid when I say this to you and I apologize if it's offensive, but you need to do it when you can. Many times we get these cars because people can't drive them anymore. And there's gonna come a time when all of us here, including me, you in this video, right? Can't drive anymore. And that's why waiting, waiting and waiting, stop waiting. They just keep going up in price. They're not getting any cheaper. And this is a really nice example. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this uh, old 442 convertible. And if you don't mind, hit the like button down below. It helps get our message out. I really appreciate that. Uh, subscribe to the channel. We have new stuff coming out all the time. And uh, maybe share it with your friends. They might like to see some of the stuff we have as well. And I'll see you on the test drive. So why do people love these cars so much? Why are they so legendary? It's a gentleman's muscle car, because this is why. Listen to this car, rattle free, rides beautifully, handles well. Tons of power, how you doing? <laughs> anyway, just super, super easy drive and go for a ride. Carry five people if you want. Four, one, yourself. Put on some music, man. Oh, this is super, super nice, super nice. Listen to this car see us going down the road this is the part of therapy you don't need to go into an office for right like this is a game changer one-handed driving and i'm smiling you know why because i'm out man i'm out i've just you know i told everybody at work i'm gone i'm now driving and whew, i'm relaxing i'm relaxing All right, I thought we'd go for a little bit farther drive because it's so beautiful out today. Anyway, a uh, couple things. Let's talk about that for a second. This steering wheel we talked about in the beginning, it looks nice. You can have your choice. This wheel here, or uh, you can get a factory style wheel, or you can do the stainless three spoke uh, with uh, a black rim that matches the dash, right? That's another option too. That's the cool thing about getting a car like this is like all the hard work's been done. All of the years of restoration and what have you, and we have a matching numbers car, right? But we can make it our own. We can do a couple small things we want uh, to make it a little bit different, make it how we want it, and that's really great. Like here we have our original radio. We talked about putting a, a sound system in the glove box, hiding it, keeping it kind of old school right here, and not having to uh, uh, digitize the dash, but be able to stream music and what have you. Anyway, I'm just going for a drive. And, like, look at this. We're just going for a drive together, you and me. We're riding. Uh, we, I don't know. I should just shut up. I should just shut up and drive. That's what I'm going to do.